what's up guys welcome back to another sport universe reacts um we are going to be talking about the mickey Callow callaway firing for the mets i mean it's a perfect topic for me to talk about being a mets fan as i'm sure everyone's aware of at this point that follows what we do at the sport universe um so news came out today that mickey callaway um was fired from the team obviously a year early than what his contract was, which was through 2020. So there's a few things I want to talk about. First off, I'm like really proud of the Mets for doing it. I Everyone knows that the Mets are a cheap organization. Not really sure if it's a myth or it's just like what Mets fans are perpetuating, which I definitely agree with that they're a cheap team and they don't like going after the big names that they could. Um... I don't know if it's the Will Ponds or just, I don't know what the actual situation is, but that's not what we're discussing. So, I didn't think that the Mets would actually fire Mickey Callaway, being that he's still in another year on his contract as a manager, and firing him a year early meant that they, meant that they would have to pay Mickey Callaway his salary salary for him not doing his any of his jobs since obviously he'd be fired. Um... But, I mean, news came out that they did fire him, which I was I was very surprised at. Obviously, I had been reading on Twitter and, and just social media that no one was really sure it was going to go on, that the news was going to come out today. And when I saw that they fired him, I mean, I was happy first off. I didn't think Mickey Calloway was the right person for the job anymore. Um, but I didn't think they would fire him because he still had a year left. But they did. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. The second thing, um, why I think Mickey Callaway wasn't the right fit or why I agree with what the Mets did. Obviously, uh, Mickey, being a coach or just being in the, in the bright lights of the city, as everyone refers to them, all that pressure can kind of change how a person acts and change behavior. And Mickey Callaway, I mean, he, he wasn't like, I mean, you can't really say if he was awful or not because as a coach, it's kind of, as like someone who watches baseball, it's kind of hard, baseball or any sport, it's kind of hard to tell how much input the coach has onto the output of the team and their record. But he wasn't awful. Um, and that goes to show that I think in a different market, like, I don't know, not any of the big cities like Los Angeles, Boston, or New York City. I don't think those are good fits for him. Obviously, in Cleveland, he wasn't the main coach, but he was the pitching coach, and he did a really good job, which is what led the Mets to want to go after him and try and find their new guy when they fired Terry Collins. Um, but I think if he went to a lesser market, I could definitely see him having success. There's obviously not as much pressure. The media is not as intense as it is in the city. But the pressure did get to Mickey Callaway. You could see it at times. I mean, when he went off at, I think it was Tim Healy one of, in one of the, uh, like, locker room interviews. He cursed him out. I don't remember what Tim Healy was asking about. I don't know if that ever actually came out. But obviously he wasn't happy. The pressure was getting him. The Mets weren't doing good. Tim Healy was pushing his buttons or whoever the reporter was. I'm pretty sure it was him, though. And he cursed him out, something that managers aren't supposed to do. Um, he constantly made mistakes with uh, double switching, uh, bullpen usage, not really understanding the how his players performed in certain situations. I mean, in the beginning of the season, he kept on putting Jerry's Familia in for multiple um, innings in a row. And time after time, it was evident that... that Familia couldn't do that, but he still continues to do that. And there's a lot of examples of him just, like, making in-game decisions that weren't right. And I feel like that's probably one of the most important things for a manager in baseball to do is make those timely in-game decisions that, um, even though Terry Collins got a lot of guff for this, I feel like he was he actually was pretty good at that. But Mickey Callaway wasn't, and that was evident I feel that was more the pressure of New York City and trying to perform well and make smart decisions. I think that he, in another market, he would do good. Third thing I want to discuss was who I want the next manager to be. 
Um, the three big names right now, at least from my understanding, is Carlos Beltran, Joe Girardi, and Joe Madden. Sorry, Carlos Beltran. I don't really want Carlos Beltran to be the manager. A couple reasons why. First off, when players that were somewhat beloved or were stars for teams and try to come back and become coaches, if something doesn't turn out right, that um, the hype around the player, the figure that he was to the team is diminished. Um, and Carlos Beltran, I mean, I wasn't really watching a lot at that point. It was 2006, 2007, 2008, whatever. Whenever, I think they traded in 2010. So I was kind of there. I wasn't really there. I mean, I was pretty young. Didn't really know what was really going on. Who knows if I really still know know what's going on. I don't know. Um, but for a lot of people, I'm sure, Carlos Beltran coming back, and if he doesn't do well, that'll diminish his role as a New York Met. We saw with Jason Kidd and with the Brooklyn Nets, that didn't turn out right, and I don't think Jason Kidd's figure in Nets history is the same anymore. Joe Girardi... So I don't want them going after Carlos Beltran for that reason. And the second reason is that we saw how Mickey Calloway, and I kind of want someone who knows what he's doing and has experience. Mickey Calloway was a new manager. Um, so I want someone who knows what they're doing. And that leaves Joe Girardi and Joe Madden. Joe Madden, um, it seems like he wants to go for the Angels and be their manager. I mean... I don't really know the exact reasons. I know that he did coach the Angels earlier on in his career, or he was just... I don't know if he was ever actually the manager of them. I think he was. But he has a history there, and also... I might just be I'm speaking out of my butt at this point, but, I mean, Los Angeles is a nice place to live, and, you like, the sunny and all that stuff, so that could be probably a big reason for it, too. So I was Joe Girardi, and I think at this point, Joe Girardi is the bet. The, I would want Joe Madden over Joe Girardi, but I don't think Joe Madden's going to come for the, to the Mets. So at this point, I feel like Joe Girardi is the one that's left, and I don't think that's a bad decision. Um, Joe Girardi proved himself with the Yankees. There was a couple of things where he did get in with some of the players. I mean, there was rumors about him and Gary Sanchez not having the best um, relationship. So that irks me a little bit, but... That could have just been the situation. Who knows what Gary Sanchez is, who he is as a person. But I think Joe Girardi proved himself with the Yankees, and he didn't leave the Yankees on bad terms. Like, they made it to the ALCS, I think it was, a seven-game series. So it's obviously that he wasn't – he. they just wanted to go in a new direction, and I think Joe Girardi has a proven track record that – can get the Mets over that hump. And I think at this point, we saw how impressive the Mets were and their young roster actually getting somewhere. I think that's the perfect fit for the Mets. He knows how to uh, coach in New York. He gets the pressure. And I think... I, I There's no other reason that I could say that he shouldn't go be the Mets manager. Um... For Mets fans out there, I don't think that the idea, which I don't think it really is, but the idea that he was a Yankees coach should really affect him becoming the Mets coach. I think that's a stupid way of looking at it. So for me, the main takeaways, I'm happy that they fired Mickey Callaway. Mickey Callaway seems like he could be a good coach in another system, in a lesser market, and I feel that Joe Girardi is the Mets' best fit for the next manager. So that was another Sport Universe Reacts. Um, thanks for watching. Keep liking, keep subscribing, all that stuff. Getting content out on all our platforms now, which is very exciting. Instagram, um, the website, and obviously YouTube. So that's it. See you later. See you on Saturday. Bye.